I don't think anybody at Spurs or Spurs fans would have a, an issue if he did decide to leave now. I think the conversation's been there all this all this season. Um, the manager's been sacked and everything seems to be drifting away. It's going to be a tough end to the season for Spurs. And I think at his age and his stage in his career, if he were to move on and wanted to fulfil winning his ambition to win things, um, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody would begrudge him that. It's it's all it's great being a, a one man club, um, and it's you know being a fantastic thing if he did stay and, he, and Spurs were able to build a team around him. But I think if there was any type of any time for him to go, I think it's possibly this summer. I think the the next manager for Spurs, whoever they recruit, will have a huge impact on you know whether he stays or not. The first job that the manager will have will be to sit down with him and decide his future. I think they should go for a, an, an experienced manager, somebody who's managed at that level um, with international credentials. I'm dis- disappointed they missed out with Nagelsmann. I thought the way that Tuchel, the, the effect that Tuchel's had at Chelsea, Nagelsmann could have had similar at, at Spurs. Um, but obviously Bayern Munich saw that and, and got in quick. So it's going to be interesting to see who Daniel does appoint for, for the next manager. Um, but I think, you know, he's, he's hired and fired and he's back managers before. And you have to trust him to get the decision right. As far as Ryan Mason goes, I think he's done a wonderful job with the under-23s. I think he'll continue to be um, develop as a coach, develop as a manager. This opportunity will be an incredible experience for him. And I think he will go on to manage Spurs one day, but maybe not just yet.